Hi, I'm Mike, and today we're going to be installing a floating vanity like this one, except a little bigger. Hey, if this is your first time here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss anything. So this is a floating vanity that I put in a while ago into a smaller bathroom. And the cool thing about it is it floats. There's no legs on it. It secures to the wall. And it's uh, not difficult to install, but uh, there are some obstacles that you have to overcome. So let's get started. So here is the before picture. That's the vanity. It's got two drawers in it. And there's the drain piping, which is going to cause some issues. So the drawers that come with these floating vanities are unusual because they have a built-in cutout for the drain trap. And so you're almost forced to place the vanity wherever the drain trap is or move the plumbing one way or other. So the way this measures out, uh, this vanity is going to have a gap here on this wall. My choice is to either put it all the way against the wall, which I would prefer, but I would have to either move the plumbing over, which is going to be a real hassle, or somehow modify this, this drawer to accommodate the drain trap, which I don't want to do. So I'm going to put the vanity directly over that trap so I don't have to mess with any of that. So this vanity sticks to the wall through a couple of means. Uh, first of all, there's some heavy duty brackets that um, hopefully we're going to hit some studs in, but if not, they've got anchors. But the real supporter of the weight is this, it's called a French cleat, although it's usually a, a more sturdy material than this. And you can see the end cut of it is angled. This goes against the wall, like so. And then underneath, underneath this main support piece here is the matching angle to fit in to this angle. So this, get, this will definitely hit a stud and will support the majority of the weight here and the rest of these brackets will simply stabilize it because these are, these are real thick. So a word on how high should I install this vanity since it doesn't have legs, I get to choose. Uh, generally speaking, the tops should be between 32 and 36 inches off the floor. I'm taller, so I'm gonna put mine at the 36 inch level. Now the very top of this sink has a it's a it's a countertop with an integral bowl and it just sits on top of this vanity. Uh, it's two inches thick, so that means I want the top of this floating vanity at 34 inches off of the floor. So I'm going to mark 34 inches, draw a level line, and that'll be the top of my support. step is to install that French cleat up here and the top of that cleat is going to go against my line and I want to make sure that that's in two studs because that's going to support the weight. And I don't know if you can see here but I've got two holes where I removed my old vanity. They happen to be 16 inches apart and it's real suspicious that they're going to be in studs. But check out with the stud finder first. Yes. There's one. And there's two. So these, uh, these are absolutely studs. I'm going to line this up and install my French cleat. So lastly, we need to talk about the left and right placement of that cleat, how far along this wall. I've got the midpoint above this drain pipe right here. That French cleat is 38 and a quarter wide. If I take half of that, it's 19 and an eighth. So I've measured 19 and an eighth from on the right and on the left. And I've marked it on the wall here. My wall is getting kind of pockmarked. But this is, a, this is the placement of the French cleat left to right along this top edge. Okay, so I've started two screws in here. 
just so I don't have to spend the whole time holding this piece up. Uh, I'm over the studs, left to right I'm good, so I'm going to drive one of these in. Boy, that's loud. Okay, so that one's in. Before I drive the other one in, I'll make sure I am nice and level. And I am right there, so I'm going to drive the other one in. Okay, so the cleat is up. I've got four screws into the studs, and now it's time to lift the vanity onto that cleat. Okay, so you know what's awesome is I went to put the vanity up on the wall, and there just isn't enough space in the backside of this opening uh, to span the distance between the piping and the top of the uh, support piece. So I need to either uh, cut out the uh, this little piece here, which is gonna really make it tough because I still have a trap that has to come out and down and back up to the sink, so I'm not gonna do that. The other option is to move the piping upwards about two inches. Not a fan of that. So my last option is to lower this piece down about two inches, which is what I'm gonna do. Okay, I have relocated the weight bearing bar down a couple of inches and now it's just a matter of okay and then that's going to stay so I've got you know, a couple inches of play here I'll figure out where I want to invest then I'm going to install some screws through these brackets and down here I'll hold it against the wall okay so the cabinet is in I need to make sure that there's plenty of room for the trap, which there is, that's good. And so now I need to get the top ready, install the faucet and the supply lines and put the drawers in. Okay, so I'm ready to put the top on and I got the trap out in case I hit something because I like to do stuff that's smart. And so while I've got the top out and I don't have to lay on my head to assemble everything, I've already got the faucet on it the drain assembly in and the supply lines hooked up. And this way, even the faucet gives me a handle to hold on to if I need it while I put the top on. Before I do that though, I'm gonna put some uh, adhesive caulking around the top, the top edge of this around the perimeter. Okay, just a little caulking around here. You're not gonna see this. I guess I could be a little, a little more careful. But this will help to stick in place. Okay, here we go. I want to make sure I clear my whole area. Here. I don't have to move this around too much. Okay, I need to come over just a little bit. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just kind of lining everything up here, and I've got a gap here between the, uh, the drain and my trap. And so I need to install a trap extension. Simply an extension with a coupling, and it should make pretty quick work of it. And once I get this on, I'll be able to uh, just adjust this anyway, and, uh, and I'll be able to connect the water. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this out. I'm gonna take this. Okay, and 
this will go on first. This conical washer, kind of shaped like a triangle, you want the sharp end pointing down. And I'm going to slip that up here. And then that's where my that's where my trap extension will go. Now I'm going to need to cut this off at some point. So I just want to basically line this up. Uh, I'm going to need to cut about an inch off of that thing to get that to line up. Okay, one thing left to do, and that is to put the drawers in. Bottom goes first. There's a couple of pins on the back of those rails. Let's slide in on each side. And it pops down like so. All right, well, there is the finished product. It's pretty modern looking actually, and it does float, nothing underneath, which is why I had the uh, floor go all the way to the wall and, and the baseboard as well. So, looks pretty nice. I hope that video helped you out. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.